Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we are going to get started on our Football Manager LP. Um, hopefully you're as excited about this as I am. I'm very, very excited. So much so that I'm really trying hard not to talk super duper fast. Um, now, the way, just the... This first episode, really, we're not going to really do much in it. Um, honestly, I'm just kind of going to tell you how this, how I'm going to structure the episodes for this series. Because it's going to be a little different. Um, what I'm going to do is, is the episodes that I'm going to upload are mostly all going to be um, the matches. Now, I'm going to do all the competitive matches, friendlies, and stuff like that. Um, I will skip over. So therefore, you, so you don't have to sit through that. Um, a lot of time in between the matches also. I mean, that's really not much fun to watch me, you know, sit here and sim through days and, you know, go scouting for hours on end. So that's what's going to happen. I'm kind of going to skip all over those. The episodes that we're going to have are um, mostly going to be uh, just the matches themselves. So you get to see all the good action and whatnot. However, um, I will do like sort of team update videos kind of like what I'm doing now like squad updates and stuff like that you know to kind of get acquainted with what's been going on what's been happening you know personnel wise um that I will do uh I will do um episodes for like each transfer window I'll do like a transfer roundup episode and go through everyone that left or came in or things like that um I'll also if I'll also do that from time to time if a lot of things have been happening in between, you know, epi or episodes. Yeah, in between episodes, matches, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, that's pretty much the way it's going to go. Um, this, the, the team that I have chosen to, to play this LP is Athletic Club Olu. They're Finnish. Um, I've never played in any of the Finnish leagues. It honestly looks doesn't look too difficult um of the ones i've tried it looks very similar to to the um the irish leagues that i usually play in with my with my main file that i play in my free time and i don't ever record on but um that one's also like 10 years into the game so um with that being that uh we now uh have this thing to upload and all that good stuff like i said um yeah, we'll we'll just update the videos as we go along if need be. Like I said, I do have planned ones, but we'll we'll see. You know, and the transfer windows, if you if you're familiar with um, if you're familiar with football, you know, are going to be there's going to be a month in the summer, or well, about a month and a half in the summer, and a month and a half in in um in the winter, depending on in the January window, depending on what league you're in certain days open up for domestic transfers you know blah 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 all a bunch of technicality shit that we really don't need to get into but um also one of the reasons why i've chosen this club is because um their playing cycle is through the summer which is also similar to my irish team i'm not a big fan of that scheduling myself because i like the scheduling in the winter but that's just me um but it's, I guess, it shares the same kind of scheduling uh, issue, or the same kind of scheduling format as the uh, American MLS or whatever. So all the American people can be like, oh, MLS, and get all excited about that shit. Um, we are starting off in the uh, the Finnish First Division. Is that right? I want to say that's, is that what it's called? Yeah, the first division, and in, in, in fact, I almost said Ireland, in, in Finland. Um, as you can see here, there's only 10 teams in there. Um, top team goes up, bottom two get dropped out. As you see here, it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. Um, our first match is going to be a... Uh, let's go back here. Our first match is going to be a, um, a uh, League Cup match. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is going to be a League Cup match, like a or a domestic cup round, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, not League Cup. What the hell am I saying? And then we will, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's the first game on the schedule before the friendlies, which is freaking weird, but whatever. Um, and then I'll just go and sim, as I said. I'll just go and sim myself and take care of the friendlies and do stuff like that. But um, 
just to kind of round it out, I will go ahead and take a look at the teams here. And our, actually, I want to go here, tactics. Um, primarily, we have, this is not actually the formation that I'm going to use. It, it is, but some of the, the roles are a little different. Um, I actually have my Galway. That's the club that I use on my on my personal file. That, that is the formation. A lot of the shit, this is all changed. I need to up actually save the right one and load it up here and then we'll be good to go this 4-3-3 kind of formation is the one i don't know you can call it whatever you want it's a 4-3-3 as far as i'm concerned this is the formation that i've had the most success on um on with um when i started the file they came with this 4-5-1 now this is a formation that you can be called a couple of things 4-5-1 4-2-3-1 whatever you want to call it. it it's as i've said it can be called several different things um I've never had this formation actually work for me, in all honesty. Um, I'm going to keep it on here and, and let them train these these three formations. I'll show you the last one here in a second. Just because I really want, do want to try this 4-5-1 at some point and get it working and try and tweak one and get one to be something. I've never had success with it. The most success I've had was the 4-3-3. And quite honestly, if you have success with it, I, try to, I tend to stick to my guns. You know, I mean, there's very few chances usually that you get an opportunity to just tinker around usually when fr and friendlies and stuff like that yes but you know we'll we'll see how it goes and also personnel wise that's something too i mean i've built my team on my galway file thanks frodo for making all sorts of fucking noise on my galway file i have my team tailored to the positions that i need um so therefore it's kind of hard to play a formation that uses different players if they're not playing regularly like a you know if you play a formation like this one with a defensive midfielder but your normal formation doesn't have one it's kind of weird to not you know it, it's kind of hard to have a defensive midfielder just sit on your roster and not do anything until hey you feel like playing that formation today all right sign me up you know that's just the way it is i mean usually when you have players like that you have players that are versatile and can fit and do several different uh, roles and stuff like that but um anyhow this is probably what you'll see the most of at least for a while um the other formation that i've always wanted to try it was jokingly referred to as the christmas tree formation it is what it is i mean it, it it looks like a fucking christmas tree i mean i like it a lot i've never never used it so that's another thing that i'm going to be trying so you'll get to see me tinker with two different formations here while we go through the course of this lp but um anyhow we'll we'll go with that for now and um just to show you the players i'm gonna go through and we'll just kind of skim through everybody here um just take a look at everyone like i said i don't have any i don't have everything plugged into where they're gonna play and whatnot yet but once that becomes a thing i'll kind of talk about it i mean i don't know what the hell else i'm supposed to talk about if i'm going to do this but anyhow we'll just start off with these guys and give you an idea of how good this team is i did skim through it earlier in um in all honesty it is not the worst team i've ever started out with like heighton in here is he's not so bad he's also 35 but i mean good god you know i mean a lot of these players are like second or third gen players if you played this game, you kind of know what I mean. You, you get into this game where you have like the the first gen of players, the first, you know, you have the bit, the players that are there at the club when you start, and then your first gen is the first, you know, crop of players that you bring in, you know, and I'm talking like all across the board, you know. And then of course you go into like your second iteration of them, and third and fourth generation where you just continuously bring in players. I mean, you, some of them like it. You'll see some of them that kind of stick around, and, and you'll you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. A little bit more if you've never played any of these games um later and a lot of these like i said these are just all some of these are good you know second some of them are first like this guy's probably a first gen guy right here i mean players that are about that good if you start off at a really really low end club these are the guys that you start bringing in players about that good you know this guy's probably close to a first second gen or in betweener same thing with this guy and, and he's you know michaela is 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 certainly like a second gen player you don't see players like that hell i got a i have a player with uh some a very similar stat distribution on my on my galway club i mean obviously a little bit better but no and here is you know like i said you got some pretty decent players in here so we're not starting off at there's our starting i might be the only goalkeeper we have on the roster 
and here's yeah 42 year old player director i've never had one of those before i don't i don't know what kind of contract stuff comes up with that but anyhow i mean we'll we'll see as it goes but um yeah, like I said, I mean, we don't have a terrible team. We have, there's certainly something here to work with, which is which gets me excited. It gives me kind of a chance to have this jump started. That way you won't see, you know, a lot of really, really bad, 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 bad games, bad performances, just shit play all around from really, really poor players. You know, what you what we're going to see, at least, is, is quality play and, and, you know, hopefully some, some good stuff. But anyway, that round's about... Well, rounds out about all of our players um like i said you know uh this this should be this should be fun um i'm really looking forward to it um man here's a couple players that i uh, actually put in some some bids for so we might be able to bring in some players like i said those will be things that i'll probably just kind of say you know i may actually do like a transfer update that might be the next episode actually because we have a long time and i think i want to say on the thing it says like something like 50 days before my next match so i've got a while obviously to tinker with the roster and it may very well change um and we will get into what it's going to look like from here on out um i don't suspect we'll have too many people going out i mean i usually don't you know dump off any players until the second or third season usually about the third um because he, at at the early stages in the games and in and, and the games in the game and with the players the little players that you have usually they're not so good players here we have a little bit better players so uh fatigue and fitness won't be as much of an issue as it would be for like a bottom 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 club you know so that that shouldn't be too bad but like i said usually those first first uh you know 10 signings or so uh, for me anyhow are just depth signings i just try to sign players to get bodies in the door but um anyhow uh i think that about does it for this episode um if you made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching and remember the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional